So over here you can see that I have a bunch of tasks and if I were to go around and then set up that let's say a number of days for a particular task then you can see that the dates changes out right here. But realistically speaking there might be certain tasks that you cannot start um, uh, until a certain date. For example, uh, if we were to go around onto the shooting, let's say I cannot start it until a certain date right here and you want to add in a certain constraint to the task accordingly. In that case, what you can do is you can set a constraint on the task dates by going around over here onto the view tab right here and then you can click on detail. Once you do that, you start seeing the um, uh, uh, the task form right here. And to get the option for the constraint, we need to go around over here on the drop down menu right here. And then you need to go around over here on more views. So once you do that, you need to go around and select out the task detail form right here. And you can see that you can select out many different uh, details right here as per how you like. But I'm just going to select task detail form and click apply and what happens is that I'll get constraint option right here. So now yeah, for the shooting it says as soon as possible. So I'm going to go around over here and let's say I'm going to say start no earlier than. So once I do that what happens is that I can set a specific date for this particular task and let's say I'm going to go around over here and set it so you can see that the start date is set for a certain date right here but I'm just going to go around and say this is going to be around let's say the 21st of February right here and press OK right here and the constraint is set right here for this particular task as you can see right here. So you don't see any change that is because the constraint right here is 221 right here but the start date is 310 right here so it still matches the constraint. But if I were to go around and let's say select a later date and press OK now you can see a gap right here. So you can see that the start date has changed because of the constraint right here just like this. And if I were to go around back right here just like this, you can see that that is what you have. You, you do uh, see it going backward as you can see right here. But you can see that you can go around and set the constraint out right here just like this to let's say a uh, different date right here. So let's just go around over here and select out a constraint date, press OK and you can see this little gap right here just like this. And if I were to go around and to let's say publishing right here, the publishing is set for this particular date and I can also do this. So I can just go around over here and let's say I can select must, must finish on date right here. So this is 8.23 so uh, February, March, April, May, June, July and uh, this is going to be August and let's say this should finish within 31st of August right here. If I were to uh, press OK right here, now you can see that this change is out right here. But if I were to go around over here and uh, let me choose 1st August right here, press OK. Now you can see that this task overlaps over here just like this. So you can set different level of constraints like here. Like you can set it to be as late as possible or as soon as possible or you can finish it uh, no earlier than a, a certain date or later than or you can set the must finish on or must start on and you can start no earlier than or start no later than than constraints right here just like this as you can see and that is how you can set out constraint on task dates uh, to be realistic with task management by using a Microsoft project so uh, you, you manage the time exactly as you want so I hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.